Hey everybody, CJ here from NSS, and today I'm going to talk to you about the pelvic tilt. Um, it may or may not be a term that you've heard before, um, I'll demo it here in a short bit, but it's basically the setting your hips into a quote-unquote ideal position for different uh, movements, exercises, postures. I'm going to talk about it in relation to three different things today. The first being the hip bridge, the second being a plank, and the third being a hip flexor stretch. I'll start with the hip bridge. So when you're on your back, and you're just laying naturally, there's a little bit of a space between the floor and the lower back. To do a pelvic tilt, specifically a posterior pelvic tilt, you're going to roll your hips to flatten your low back towards the floor. You may not touch the floor and that's okay, but basic idea is trying to flatten your lower back against the floor. And that is, these are my hips right here. I'm tilting them backwards. Think of it like a plate with water on it. You'll t t tilt it backwards to either flatten that plate out, not spill the water, um, or to potentially spill water backwards. So if I'm on my back in that hip bridge, flatten the low back against the floor, thus tilting my pelvis backwards, and then from there go up into a bridge. What that does is it puts those hips into a better spot and I'm able to feel a touch more glutes, hamstrings, and just feel it in the spots that I should be on that mo movement. Same general idea on a plank. I'll exaggerate a not ideal position first. So if I'm here, I've got a really big arch through the lower back, um, and thus I feel tension in that lower back. If I want to feel a little bit more on the front side, I'm going to take that pelvis, tilt it to level or neutral. So that, and all of a sudden I feel a ton more through the front side which is exactly where we want to feel it on a plank. The final position I'll talk about is a hip flexor stretch. So if we're here, and again, I'll exaggerate that. This big arch right now, my pelvis is tilted forwards. I wanna to try to stretch this area, so I'm gonna tilt the pelvis backwards, thus tucking my hips under, pelvic tilt, and then pull forward, and I feel that a ton more through the hip flexor and down into this quad, because I'm setting my pelvis into more of a neutral position. So those are just three examples of where the pelvic tilt comes into play. There are a variety of others, um, but the general idea is it's, it's a good practice if you feel like, oh, my low back's just doing a lot of work on whatever movement you're working on, try a little bit of that pelvic tilt. You might feel stronger, you might feel just less ache back here and more just strength through the front side. So give that a try the next time you're in the gym, and uh, thanks so much for watching.